And you do have about seven minutes left. Thank you. <clears throat> Judge, I once said that when I was in high school, before I knew that the South had lost the Civil War, that with the way everybody talked, that I thought they had won. I wonder how long we will go on with the 2020 election. Is that going to last another 150 years where everybody's complaining about something? Let me just reply, and I won't tarry with you long. All of what they have said is the General Assembly can do this. The General Assembly has the authority. Sure they do. But it has to be the General Assembly and not just some one body of the General Assembly. Let's just use a little common sense. Does the General Assembly have the right to issue a subpoena by a proper resolution? They do. If it's signed by the governor, it has to have the force and effect of law. You know, the first thing I do when I'm researching something, I go to the title. So you go to Title 45, which deals with subpoenas. And it says, in addition to the power conferred on the Attorney General, the governor or the General Assembly is authorized to likewise make investigations issue subpoenas. Not just the Senate or some committee of the Senate. <clears throat> now, let me, you know, Mr. Belafonte, who's a good lawyer, uh, his daddy was uh, one of our oral surgeons in Cobb County, good fellow. He was a Democrat, too. He slipped me a little contribution there once in a while. I don't know what happened to Josh. But in any regard, the, uh, he's had a tough... He's had What he's trying to say is, well, we can do anything. One body of the General Assembly can act on behalf of the General Assembly. That is not what the Constitution says. The Constitution says... The General Assembly shall be composed of a Senate and the House of Representatives. It is not one body. And then he says, well, the Constitution says we can investigate. You can investigate till the cows come home. You just can't subpoena anybody. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason when we pass the statute. There's a reason that we didn't put in the Constitution. They shall investigate and shall have the right to subpoena our compulsory service. There was a reason. And you know what the reason was? Because from time to time, one body of the General Assembly could go crazy and could do something. And my brother says, well, all we're doing is just investigating the district attorney's office. The, all of the district attorneys and how they, how they uh, uh, hire special assistants. Let's look at what they said in the resolution. Whereas it has come to the attention of the Georgia Senate through public reports and courts filing that Fonnie Willis, district attorney of the Atlanta Judicial Circuit, which comprises Fulton County, has been accused of various forms of misconduct relating to the prosecutions of cases related to the 2020 presidential election. If that is, this is not saying less Listen, let's, let's go investigate uh, how district attorneys operate so we know how to appropriate it. This is singling out one person in one case, the 2020 presidential election. election. And one district attorney is not an investigation as to the general authority and the general appropriation and how the in the Oak Mulgee circuit or in the Glenn circuit, how they're expending money singles out one person 
in one case. And as the Supreme Court said in Trump and Mazars, we would be blind not to see what all others see. This is nothing, nothing but seeking to embarrass a district attorney, one district attorney, not all of them, one district attorney. And it is nothing but to determine what the case was against Donald Trump. Now, we'll, I'll leave it to another judge and another court to say where he can be prosecuted under a state statute, or under a state law while he's present. People of the United States, in their wisdom, has decided to elect him as president. But that does not mean that there they should be allowed a vendetta against one district attorney to embarrass her when she's already been embarrassed. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Belafonte?